What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And did y'all hear? Old man Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race, which leaves creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy, one-on-one -on -one with Donald Trump. Now, if he makes it to November without the Democrats sliding it out from underneath him, it'd be amazing because people overseas is able to see that Joe, Joe don't know him. He don't know nothing. Something's going on with creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy. And I ain't talking about the latest allegations about him getting a little too fresh and wanting to give somebody some unwanted sugar. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about that. Uh, I'm talking about the fact that he seems to be incoherent when he speaks. Now, I'm going to play a clip. These are commentators from Australia talking about the upcoming election. Now, if they can see it from another country, that Joe's crazy. He's going to get the blocks beat off of him. Just beat to death. Surely Americans can see it. Listen to this and you tell me if you know what the heck Joe's talking about. I think we need a translator. Somebody out there, do you speak Joe Biden? If you do, please leave your comments in the bottom. Let's listen to this. I want to get your thoughts on American politics because despite the global pandemic we're uh -huh. all dealing with, there's still an election year over there. And sure. I noticed on your blog, you highlighted this little contribution from Joe Biden, who okay. still intends to be running against the president. I think he is. I think we cannot let this. We've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let what? our democracy sake second fiddle. We, that we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health. I just missed a bit of that, Tim. Could you just explain what he was saying there? Uh, I, I, mate, I need subtitles for that load. I mean, I think... <laughs> Did you hear, mate? He said, I need subtitles for that mode. Look, I don't know what the heck that was, y'all. That was the biggest word salad I've ever heard. He was back in the Spanish flu, 1700s, 19. We cannot, 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 canoe. There's a canoe somewhere. I right, look, stuff bad happened. You, nothing. They should have acted like his mic cut out. Ah, uh, yeah, see, uh, weak. Blip. Nothing. Democracy. And if that's what I would do. President, thank you. They should have made sure they checked and said, if he goes off the rails like normal, just start cutting his mic on and off and just say it's technical difficulties before he shoot himself in the foot. And every time he opens his mouth, a big fat double barrel shoots out, points down and blows both of his feet off every single time he talks. Who's going to go out and consciously? And when I say consciously, meaning a educated, upper class thinking, and I ain't talking about your social status. I'm talking about the way you think. Somebody with some upper class common sense listens to that and goes out and make a conscious choice to say, I think I'm going to hitch my wagon to Joe Biden. I'm questioning every bit of logic and reasoning that you own. I'm doing that right off grip. Like, dude, what are you doing? Are you seriously going to vote for this guy? Trump is going to eat this man for breakfast, just like Tony Montana said. You know what? We're going to eat that salsa for breakfast, man. That's what's going to happen. Or the Democrats are right now concocting a diabolical scheme to try to get this dude to switch places with somebody because he's not going to make it. Now, we all know that the Democrats are always up to shenanigans, using crisis to try to stack the deck in their favor. Now, of course, they want just mail-in ballots, yeah, just random mailing. with well, mail-in, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, you know, you have a license with it. We're just supposed to take everybody's word. Put on a piece of paper and crayon. I, John Franklin, is voting for Joe Biden we don't need to have any idea. We don't need to know if John Franklin is a real person, if he's alive, if he died, if he died maybe 1,700 years ago. We don't need to know those things. Create the appearance of chaos and controversy so that you can spend the next four years whining, saying that the only reason we lost is because of voter suppression or some type of cheating from the Republicans. Heard a guy on the TV, CNN, other day said, I think it might have been CNN, um, but he said that 
what went on in Wisconsin with the with the Republicans. They're willing to do anything to win an election and stay in power. Literally killing people. Literally killing people. So by re requiring people to show an ID or to physically come in to punch the ballot, uh, that's killing folks. Listen, if this epidemic is still going on in November, first of all, we're in a lot more trouble than we, we are in right now. We, we're in big trouble. I don't know if voting would be the first thing on anybody's mind because we starving at that moment. Secondly, even if we were, slide some gloves on, throw a mask on, go in, there you go. See, so anyway, uh, yeah, Joe uh, should be preparing for the beating out of his life again. Three strikes you out, Joe, three strikes you out. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and what else? Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There it is. Check out Extreme Tees. The link is in the bottom. If you like the products, click on something, put Kevin in a promo code, you get a 20% discount. And if you want to donate to Kevin at Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link in the bottom of this video, too. All right. God bless you. See you next time. Kevin.